Whoa! Look at that! That's boiling hot water shooting right out of the ground! Blossom says it's called a geyser, and it's totally natural. Hey, that gives me a brilliant idea! I challenge you to build me a geyser! How hard could that be? Now go fetch! So, uh, it turns out that geysers are a bit fussy. Blossom tells me that a geyser needs three things. Heat, water, and a plumbing system. If they don't work just right, all you've got is warm dirt or hot water. Nice, but not a geyser. So, the heat boils the water, the plumbing system stores the water, and a vent shoots the water out. To make my geyser, you'll need to adjust each of these geyser parts using the controls on the right. You just need to make a few adjustments and you're on your way. Now that's a geyser! Ready for the geyser surpriser? <laughs> you like that? Yeah. You get to cook my lunch! <laughs> and I'm starved! While the geyser is on, shoot the hot dogs, dumplings, and corn through the water to cook them. Any bones you boil will give you a bonus point. <laughs> get it? But whatever you do, don't boil my ice cream. Now get cooking! Dog, I love hot dogs! Now that's what I call a snack! Cone geysers have a cone-shaped rock on top, which makes the water and steam come out in a tall, thin stream. Oh, look at that! Now that's what I call a snack! Geysers have even been seen in space, but they're not filled with water. One of Neptune's moons squirts liquid nitrogen, and Mars squirts carbon dioxide. Geysers on Mars? <laughs> what do they think up next? Ooh, my ice cream! Now that's what I call a snack! Fountain geysers have a pool of water at their mouths, so when they erupt, the water and steam go all over the place like an explosion. Kaboom! Yay! Ice cream! Ooh, nice. Smells like lunch! Geologically speaking, geysers don't live very long. They can always seal up or turn into fumaroles, mud pots, and hot springs, and they can always turn back into geysers again. Wow, would you look at that thing! Woohoo! Ice cream! Lord. Yay! Ice cream! Smells like lunch! Old Faithful is so faithful because it usually erupts right on schedule, but most geysers are not that predictable. Ah, Old Faithful, like my favorite pair of slippers. Wait, where are my slippers? Nice. Yay! Ice cream! Hot dog! I love hot dog! Yay! Ice cream! Smells like lunch! This is a cone geyser in Yellowstone whose top looks like a castle. That must be why they call it Castle Geyser. Another mystery solved. You're welcome. Nice! 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 Ooh. Smells like lunch! Even geysers that normally erupt right on time can have their schedules interrupted or changed forever by earthquakes. Oh no, my new cooking method is doomed! Now you're cooking! A probe with a video camera was sent down Old Faithful's standpipe. It found a cavern the size of a rather large automobile filled with vigorously boiling water. So, underground? It's the size of an SUV. Wonder what the mileage is on that thing. <laughs> Now 
Now that's what I call a snack. Steamboat Geyser is the tallest in the world. Its water shoots up to 400 feet high. That's as high as the 40th floor of a building. That is taller than Studio G, which is、uh, one floor. Geothermal energy stations can take the heat in geyser fields and turn it into electricity. This is a kind of renewable energy because there's always more heat coming out of the earth, which is good for cooking. Why don't they mention cooking? Ice cream safely through.、It、smells like lunch. Most geysers only erupt for a few minutes at a time, but some can last for days and some never stop. Others can go years or decades without erupting. Whoa! Would you look at that thing go? That's what I call a snack. You would think nothing could live in such hot water, but some bacteria love it there. That's what gives some geysers their crazy colors. Ah, a tropical bacteria paradise. I know where I'm going on my next vacation. Yay! Ice cream. Ooh, ooh, my ice cream. Now that's what I call a snack. Fumaroles in wet areas have acids that melt the rock and become mud pots. Those are pools of boiling mud. They can hurl lumps of clay pretty far, so stay away. Ah, actually, it looks a little like chocolate fondue. Ice cream safely through. Nice. Smells like lunch. Fishing Cone Geyser in Yellowstone is in the middle of a lake. People used to catch fish in the lake and boil them right up in the geyser. Wow! Now that is my kind of geyser. Ice cream safely through. Ooh, dog, I love hot dogs. Woohoo! Ice cream. Nice. Now that's what I call a snack. There are only about a thousand geysers in the world, but there are some on every continent except Antarctica. Around half the geysers are in Yellowstone National Park. Ha ha! That's where I'll open my restaurant. Yay! Ice cream. More. Lovely. Now you're cooking. If a geyser runs out of water before the eruption is over, it might have a steam phase. That means steam billows out for hours together with a very loud noise. Oh! Perfect for my steam dumplings. Nice. Hot dog. I love hot dogs. Ice cream safely through. Bonus. Smells like lunch.